Well, I think our, our, our next listener submitted question kind of dovetails off of that is, so you begin your career in law enforcement. Um, was there a time either maybe before or was it probably when you already had started where you gave it some thought about running for sheriff? Because I know you were the under sheriff for many years uh, at Pasco uh, Sheriff's Office. So was there a point in time when you thought about running for sheriff or did it happen uh, very late? Well, it... Um uh, again, it was one of those things that I think uh, kind of materialized over time. I think uh, as I moved up with the state of Florida, I ended up in uh, Fort Myers as a captain with the Division of Alkali Beverages and Tobacco. And I um, thought that, uh, you know, someday I might want to uh, be the equivalent of a CEO in some sort of law enforcement agency, whether it was state law enforcement or a city uh, police department or a sheriff's office. And um, <clears throat> About that time, um, uh, Bob White, um, who was my sheriff for 10 years, uh, called me up and said he was thinking about running for sheriff in Pasco County. <laughs> and it was about a two hour drive, but uh, for several months, I, I helped him with his campaign and that kind of got me into the point where I was uh, maybe the equivalent of a COO or chief operating officer of a sheriff's office. And uh, I realized then that sheriff's offices are very unique in their ability to uh, serve the citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, working for the state, you know, it was a very rewarding career, but it can also be very bureaucratic where uh, sheriff's offices, you know, every single day the sheriff wakes up uh, very concerned about whether his agency or her agency is really serving the public in the way the public yeah. wants to be served as far as uh, protecting that county. And uh, I, I really enjoyed working for Bob for those 10 years. And uh, when the opportunity came up in Hernando um, for an appointment, I put in for it and that uh, is how I got appointed. So um, it was something I was thinking about, but uh, not until I worked for a sheriff's office did I realize how unique they were and how important they were to, uh, to the state of Florida and to the citizens that count on their sheriff every day. And that's one of the things now that you, know, you were appointed sheriff and then you decided to run. Um, what was that like? Because I guess running for office is no easy task. And if you're a law enforcement officer, you kind of show up every day to do your work. And then when you actually have to do both, you know, be the law enforcement officer, but also essentially run a, a campaign, which you've had to do in some of your races. Yeah. Uh, you've sometimes run unopposed, which is nice. But uh, what, how, how was that yeah. like? Yeah, I've actually done it uh, twice with an opponent and once unopposed. And unopposed is obviously the, yeah. the preferable way to do it. But uh, all kidding aside, I, I grew up in a family business. And one thing I tell uh, when I speak publicly is I, I think everybody should own their own business at least once in their life and everybody should run for political office at least once in their life. Yeah. I think if people did more of that, there'd be less complaining in the world because you're right, it is it is very, very difficult. It's very demanding on your time. It's a lot harder than people think to run for any office. And I have the utmost respect, even if uh, my political philosophies are 180 degrees from an individual, the fact that they put their, their name in there and they got in the ring, um, and took those blows um, shows that uh, they, they deserve respect, even if I don't necessarily agree with them politically. So uh, yeah, it, it can be very difficult, but it can also be very rewarding. And it is verification mm -hmm. uh, that the public uh, appreciate what you're doing and your particular policies and your philosophies in the sheriff's office and how um, it's running uh, because you know when you're appointed police chief or even working for the state of Florida you're, you're really not sure uh, necessarily what the public thinks unless you do a uh, um, some sort of survey but I think yeah. uh, an election is the ultimate survey of uh, customer satisfaction yeah, it's the ultimate performance evaluation exactly if they enjoy it exactly. they'll be reelected. if not they can always find someone else exactly yeah. and that's what uh, you know every every four years you have to reapply mm -hmm. 